four fourth quarter comebacks this season. When people want it drama, you have it. I try to always have a big man's mentality when it comes to the game, but 90% of this game, by 90% of life, is kind of played from the neck up. The Cincinnati Bengals are blitzing, trying to stop outside run. You gotta find a way to get this inch. But you separate yourself by control the controllables. And I'll control every single day is, is my effort and my attitude. The margin for error is so small. Game comes down to a game of inches. Has he saved his best for Super Bowl 56? So, tell Cam, let's go, man. Hey, Cam. Let's do it, baby. Gives inside to Akers, cuts away from one, breaks a tackle, digs down inside the 15, yes, still fighting. Yes, Cam Akers with the yes. most determined run of Super Bowl 56 to give the Rams a fresh set of downs on the doorstep. And maximize every opportunity at every single play. Yes. The Los Angeles Rams are world champions. We're in a production business, so when you produce, you have an opportunity to stick around, and when you don't, they get rid of you. That's just, that's just how it goes. Man just told me to give me a 10-yard head start to beat me in the foot race. He's one of the greatest competitors I've ever been around. He's got such a great disposition. 60. I don't do it with 60. I might pull something. Very matter of fact, securing himself, very demanding of his guys. Put away faster, put away faster. Good, there you go, good, perfect, perfect, other side. I think any time that you're a great coach, you have a big picture perspective. And he's always had that big picture perspective. No mind you, it's my job, man, make you right. When I was a player, I never wanted to be a coach. My dad always kind of mentioned to me about maybe keeping the door open and want to become a coach, and I'm like, those guys spend way too much time in the office. So I was kind of adamant about, as I was my playing career, that I would, I would never go into coaching. My draw to football coaching initially wasn't even about football coaching. Coach. My passion for the X and O's probably came four or five years down the road into coaching. To, to me, I was big on relationships. It wasn't man coaching, so. It was about helping players maximize their ability and also find their passions outside of football. What's up, man? Good. You getting these boys right? Trying to. Trying to. One day at a time. I think once those guys understand that I actually care about them more, you know, what you can do for us on game day, those guys open up more to you. They relate to you better. And obviously, I think it'll give you better effort. Slow is slow. Come off. Under control. Fitting the outside view of his neck. Good, good. Ball and head's coming low to high. I generate power from the ground up. Keep that elbow tight. Hand above the elbow. Elbow against the ribcage. Good. Hey, old fan, cover around the back. Ground up. Get my second step on the ground again. Do a really good job coming low to high. He's got such a unique and an educated and a very uh, impressive thought process as it relates to a lot of things outside of football. You know, that's why he's also the assistant head coach. I heavily lean on him with some things where he runs leadership group meetings. He has a great pulse for the team. Good. Much better, much better. Every rep a game rep. Full speed. What is our man? What's up, Doc? Good, Coach. Great, man. You all right? Good. I think having an opportunity to move on past coaching running backs to coaching tight ends to me is a great opportunity just for, for myself, but also I think for this entire team as well to be able to have a different voice in that room and a different perspective. Yeah. I think it was wide. When it comes to tight ends, it's about being a great communicator, like a show's return, about being able to try to provide clarity, being able to try to provide a spark for that room and make sure I maximize every guy's ability. Correct. And if I have leverage, keep leverage. You know I mean? When you played running back at such a high level, you know, he played in the league as well. You know, you're seeing it through that lens. You're very comfortable there. But the tight end is a position that, you know, you're really involved in all phases of the offense. And so I think it only expands on the knowledge and understanding. It was one of the most beneficial things that I was able to do as a coach. He's really attacked the role with the right mindset and mentality. Now angle cut it, yep. That's this top cone around it. Right, don't leave with my head. Don't duck my head now. Catch, tuck, burst every time. Catch tuck burst every time. <laughs> you know, you're trying to lead the right way and, and his guidance for me and his perspective and willingness to open up and share and uh, be totally transparent has been incredibly enlightening. I'm a big believer in, you know, listen, learn, and then you can lead the right way. And being able to listen and learn from Thomas has, has really helped me in a lot of ways. I'm not huge on motivation because to me in some ways motivation is overrated. I'm kind of more of a principal type person because the biggest form of motivation really comes internally. Like the outside motivation is cool, but that, that wears off once somebody punches you in the mouth if you don't have the right uh, integrity, mentality, and also the fundamentals. Hey, good job, man. To me, I always try to view myself as a football coach. 
You know, I was trying to have a big picture perspective, watching all 11, understanding how to coach every single position and how it all comes together. And to me, my role is to try to do a really good job of maximizing every single day.